Isn't it beautiful? Christmas is my favorite time of year. I wish my big brother Chris felt that way. See, he and I go way back. Well, I guess if you consider 10 years way back. He's been a pretty good big brother. Until lately. You could say he kind of has an attitude problem. Especially around Christmas. And that's where I come in. I don't go into work every morning to have fun. Well, well, if you can't do the job right, then I will find someone who will. I'm tired of hearing about this, Bill. Look, I gotta go. I want the proposal on my desk by the time I get to work. Hey! Hey, what? What is this? My yard is trashed. I want this taken care of by the time I get home or you're out of a job. My big shot brother thinks he has life figured out. But he's got a lot to learn. I might be his little sister, but I've got some big plans for him. This is going to be the year that he learns the true meaning of Christmas. Looks like I might have found the problem. Really? That's great. Yeah, let's see if we can get to there on time. Start up. Thank you so much. It's Jeremy, right? Mm -hmm. You have no idea how much you've helped me today. Of course. Please. I can't take it. Are you sure? I'm sure, yeah. You're a godsend. Again, thank you. You're very welcome. Have a good day. You too. Hey, Chris. Nice to see you. Fill it with you. premium? Yeah. Hey, you got any plans for Christmas? Or... No. No one can go home early, Bill. Hey! Do you mind? Well, last time I checked, Bill, Christmas Eve isn't a holiday. Hey, 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 watch the paint job. Give me 20 bucks a regular. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. God bless you, sir. I will see you when I get into the office. No, I will see you there. Hey, Chris, uh, we should get together. Just like we used to. some messages, and uh, that's the file for the Trinity group. How's the prep coming for the 1 o'clock meeting? A about that. They're coming in at 10. What? I told them 1. I'm sorry, but they had obligations this afternoon. Hello, Michaels. Cr Chris, th there's one more thing. Terry, you're killing me. I need everyone in the boardroom by 9.45. But, but Samantha Tipton No is more interruptions. Take it. This is a bad time. Is there ever a good time? Look, I know you're busy. Very. So I'll be brief. The youth shelter has lost a lot of their funding. People aren't giving anymore. We're looking at foreclosure. We could lose the home. And? And? What do you want me to do about it? Chris, come on. You know these kids don't have anything. I'm just looking for a little help. We can't even afford to put up a Christmas tree That's this year. That's not my problem. Do you think this is easy for me? Crawling in here and begging for a handout? You're our last hope. Look, I only invest in opportunities that present a potential return. 
Chris, you know these kids have a bright future ahead of them if they can only find someone who believes in them. And that is a huge return. Have a nice day, Sam. This isn't your best sales report, Bill. Well, it's all in there, Chris. I've seen better. Well, we can look at it again after the holidays. Mm -hmm. You'll have plenty of time to finish it after the meeting. There's, there's no rush to get this done. But I want it done, and I want it done right. Take some pride in your work. <clears throat> David, you remember Chris as well as Bill? Thanks, Terry. Good to see you. How are you? Good, thanks. Well, look at you. You're really running this place now, huh? Mm-hmm. And I am excited to let you know that we now ship it better, faster, and cheaper. We now beat the competition by at least 25%. And it's no secret in the industry that you've landed one of the largest government contracts in the state. <laughs> you've been doing your homework. So you can save me some money? Millions. Take a look on page three here. We can go over some of the details. Chris, or... Bill's already sent me the info I need. I get it. Hey, Trinity Group has been using Century Air for how long now? 20, 25 years? Which is exactly why I'd like to go over some of the details with you. When your dad started this company, I was one of his first customers. Jim's always treated us like family. We've always appreciated it. You got my business. I know I'm in good hands. I promise you will not be disappointed. Off Terry, grab the contract. You got my handshake. We can wrap this up after Christmas. Well, you're here today. Why don't we just sign now? I'm sure everyone's eager to get home. Oh, no, they don't mind. <laughs> We're a family company, Chris. Family comes first. I mean, it's a lot that I came down here today. Tell Nancy I said hi. Hold it. Uh, I'd like a word with you. Sure. Everyone hang tight. I'll be right back. Just got a couple of these beauties in last week. I see you still have your dad's car. Yeah. Did you know that my father was friends with your grandfather? Uh, no, no, I, I only met him twice. I was just a little kid. We go way back with the Taylor family. Been friends for years. That's great. Then you know how problematic it can get when you mix business with friends. I've been getting a lot of calls from Pacific West Air. They've wanted my business for years. Pacific West? Really? Yeah. They're setting up shop in the States. I'm not certain I like the way they do business. They uh, work their people too hard. Yeah, that's too bad. I'm expecting a proposal from them the day after Christmas. Wait, you, we shook on it. You said we had your business. And if they don't make me a better offer, I'll sign the contract with you. Everything good? No, not good. How dare you give them those quotes without my approval? Chris, I've handled Trinity for years. I was just trying to troubleshoot any potential issues. He's expecting a bid from Pacific West in two days. If he gets a better deal, he walks. He's bluffing. I know David. I'll call him after Christmas. It'll be fine. I need to guarantee they sat on the dotted line. Until then, I want everyone working on a more defined proposal. Chris, just hold on. We have all been working day and night on this thing. It's a done deal. Okay. Why don't we just give everybody the day off and they can go be with their families? I know this is a hard time of year for you. You and I can wrap this up by one o'clock. You're more than welcome to come over. Do you want time off, Bill? Am I working you too hard? Everybody's been working hard. Are you committed to this job? 
Yes, and I'm also committed to my family. <sighs> Whatever. You're fired. Whoa. Now you have all the family time in the world, Bill. My gift to you, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And if anyone else cares to join Bill and take the day off, make sure to pack up your things while you're at it. So would you like to set up a time to meet again? Yeah, I'll get back to you. I gotta go. Well, if it's easier, I can bring the papers to you. You know, your dad left some pretty big shoes for you to fill. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the company's growth and, and what I've done, it's obvious I've excelled at the job. Ask yourself, would he be proud? Merry Christmas, Chris. Packages came for you. They're in the den. You're not even going to open your cards? Christopher Taylor, your parents raised you better than that. Your dinner's in the oven. Thank you, Linda. Hello? Linda? Is that you? I 
I called the police. They're gonna be here any second. Not even the mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced through their heads. To do. What are you talking about? Are you here to warn me about the Trinity deal? You are, aren't you? They're still gonna sign, right? I Bill didn't blow it for me? Chris, we've got bigger problems. Actually, you've got bigger problems. You've been given so many chances to get things right and you keep blowing them. It's like you go out of your way to do the wrong thing. What chances? Tell me one time that I've caught a break. I've gotten the short end of the stick my whole life. If anyone knows that, it's you. I'm here to save you. From what? From you, silly. I don't, I don't need to be saved. I just need time. I just need some time to work, kind of, uh, kind of figure things out, to tell people how much I really do for them. How important you are. Yes. Come here, dork. I need to show you something. this Christmas? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Not this photo. Take a good look. Hey, you. Isn't it time a certain someone goes to bed? Hmm? What about opening presents? Oh, honey, we need to wait until morning. Anything back then. If you open all your gifts tonight, what are you gonna open Christmas morning? Mm -hmm. Hey bud, Christmas isn't about getting presents, it's about giving. Remember that story I told you about how God gave his only son Jesus as a gift to the world? Mm -hmm. Well, Christmas is about the gift of love. ever did her any good. It's the thought that counts. Besides, you gave everything you had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that was touching. Thank you, really. Thank you for showing me the light. Can I wake up now? It's just too weird. You have a lot of good memories in here. A lot of good friends. Well, there's a piece. 
to be sheep. Why can't we be people? You know, all in good time. I was a camel when I was your age. But, but nobody cares about the sheep. Why don't you think people care about the sheep? We don't even have lines. We just stand there. Sometimes being the little guy is just as important. Jesus was in the spotlight when he was born? Well, yeah, Sam, but, but when he grew up, he was always around regular people. People were like his flock of sheep, and he was their shepherd. I guess being a sheep isn't so bad. No, don't ever feel bad about having a small part in something wonderful. Being a sheep is cool. Hmm. They're gonna get started without us. We better go. Alright, let's go. Okay, kids, I want you to go right in, okay? Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, you look so cute. Come on, come on. So much for not being the center of attention. You didn't care about being the center of attention then. Why is it so important now? I've earned it. That's important to you, isn't it? There's no such thing as a free lunch. You don't believe in a helping hand? Handouts? Now, people need to earn their keep. I did. I think you're confusing a handout with a hand up. Oh, really, Karen? I can get that. I've got it. Honest. Uh, are you sure this is okay? Uh, Diane, your family. I never thought I would be divorced, let alone without a place to live. Besides, I could use the help. <laughs> what with the kids and the youth shelter and Jim's work, I barely have time for myself. Well, I'm more than happy to do anything you want. <laughs> oh, could you take this in yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Are you really going to live with us? You don't mind, do you? No, you can live here forever. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not a problem. <laughs> Come on, Diane, I'll show you your room. Okay, Chris. <laughs> Honey, don't wear her out on her first day. <laughs> You can put them there. <laughs> How's that? Perfect. <laughs> you ready to have me hanging around here? Of course, it's going to be great. What about when the baby comes? You're probably going to want he or she all to yourself. No, I'll share. Besides, he won't be able to play until he gets older. He? Is there something I don't know? Oh, wishful thinking, huh? <laughs> well, I guess I just say he, but I'll be okay with either. Diane, why don't you have any kids? I mean, it seems like you love them. No, oh, honey, I do love kids. It's kind of hard to explain. When I was married, we really wanted a baby. I believe children are a gift from God. Unfortunately, we weren't able to have any. Well, if you really wanted them, why didn't God just give you one? God can bring children into our lives in all sorts of ways. And sometimes they may not be our own, but we can love them all just the same. So, to answer your question, maybe he will. Well, he brought you here, so maybe I can kind of be your kid, if you want. I'm sure mom and dad won't mind sharing. I would love that. Thank you. Well, <laughs> I'd better get going and help your mom. Okay. I'll be down in a few. Diane. Those were good times. She lost everything in that divorce. Mom and Dad helped her get back on her feet. That's different. The she was like family. She, besides, it's not like we just were handing out money. She helped out. Because you'd never stand for that. Just in time. Did you wash your hands? Yep. Can I help? 
as long as you leave some for the church tonight. Linda, why are girls so complicated? Girls, huh? I was just wondering. Well, in general, girls can be complicated. Sometimes they get more complicated as we grow older. Does that make sense? Not really. I just wish she would make up her mind. I mean, she wants to be around all the time, but she acts weird too. She? Well, yeah, you know, girls in general. Well, honey, that usually means she likes you. Really? Weird. Life can be weird, but young love is wonderful. How's this? Just enough sprinkles? Perfect. Hey, can I have one? Sure. And then we need to get a jump on that homework. Deal? Deal. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. Good night, sweetie. Good night, bud. Chris is growing up so fast. Mm-hmm. Honey, what do you think about the colors for the nursery? Yeah. You know, colors can affect the baby's mood. Maybe we should change the trim. Sure. Jim, have you heard anything I've said? Yeah, it sounds fine. Sweetheart? Yeah, I'm just crunching some numbers. For tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Gotta figure out these Christmas bonuses. Was it really that bad? I thought things were picking up. Yeah, it's, it's been a tough year. What are we gonna do? I don't know, I guess we just have to kinda move some of these annuities around to cover it. Well, honey, are you sure about that? Yeah. Important. God has blessed us so much. We deserve it. You're right. We have more exciting things to worry about. Like this little miracle right here, who is anxiously waiting to join us for the holiday. that one right there. Look at that one. I was thinking this. Maybe we can for the trip. It's a little dark. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Looks like your presents do any day. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it also looks like you picked up another kid on the way. They're inseparable. We might as well have had twins. <laughs> Don't give up hope. It can still happen. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you decided to have a party, John. I think people needed it. Yeah, it's been a rough year. But uh, I think we're going to survive. It's uh, good for everybody's morale. We'll rally the troops and hit the ground running.
assistance. Jim. I can't afford to do this. Bill, I can't afford not to. You've earned it. You all have. Thanks. You could have skipped bonuses that year. Economy was bad, people would understand, right? You're impossible. I got it. I think we're ready. Sarah, you want to help Jim put the star on the tree? Yes, please. Do you want it? Ready? One, two, three! Oh, yay. Yay, good job. Merry Christmas! Hey guys, let's all go get cookies and hot cocoa. And when we're done, we'll open presents from the tailors. A lot of these kids are my age. I can't imagine being without my family, especially at Christmas. Sam, you know, you're absolutely right. This is not an easy life. People like Karen and Jim and you and Chris make it a lot better. What about the rest of the year? I think you've got a volunteer here. Oh, oh Karen, we gotta get you off your feet. No. I'm fine, I'm no. fine. What's up, Jeremy? Hey, maybe next time I come over, we can play that race car game we got you. You got me that race car game? Oh, can I play too? Jim, I think we gotta go like now. Now? Yeah. Uh, Sam, Chris, let's go. D come Diane? On. Go, 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 go. Would you mind coming with us? Yeah. I'll oh. get the car. I'll oh. get the car. Okay. I made this for you. Thank you, Sarah. I'll put this on our Christmas tree. You and Jeremy played video games every week for years. Such a waste of time. You guys had fun. I don't even understand how we could give them gifts that year. Or buy them a tree. It's not, it's not like life was easy for us either. Pretty tough with this big house and loving parents and meals. Not living in fear. It doesn't matter if you're having a good year or a bad year. But you still have to give. That ornament was all she could give and you took it. So why shouldn't you give all you possibly can? All right, you made your point. Yeah, woohoo. Family fun, be nice. Get real, Grace. I'll tell you what, uh, when, I, when I wake up from all this tomorrow, how about I go sponsor one of those kids from the depressing TV commercials? First, we both know that's never gonna happen. And second, that wasn't my point. Pay attention. It's just about to get good. How long is this gonna take? Aren't you excited to have a little baby brother or sister? Brother. <laughs> no, sister. <laughs> It's a girl. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you ready, bud? Let's go see your baby sister. <laughs> Yay. You ready to hold your baby sister?
glad that you're finally here. I thought maybe that you'd be my little brother. But it's okay, because I love having a little sister too. You'll see, I have so many things to show you. Wait till you see my best friend, Sam. She's the best. Well, I mean, next to you, of course. Just remember, if you ever need anything at all, I'll be here for you. I don't remember saying that. You sure you're not mixing up the memories? I'm not done. Were well, you wasting your time, Grace? The past is in the past. Grow up. I'm sorry. You wouldn't understand. Life is it's complicated. People change. I wish you hadn't. You remember the night of the winter formal? Yeah, sure. My senior year, I remember. The better question is, who remembers you? Christopher, look at you. You're so handsome. Oh, thank you. Oh. Start crying, you're gonna scare him off. Right, here she is. <laughs> Sweetie. Yes, you. Oh, how beautiful. Yes. Corsage. Oh, corsage. <laughs> okay. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, you go. two look so fantastic. <laughs> oh, okay. This is so great. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> okay. You say you? home by midnight. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, just go have fun. Enough, enough. Go have fun. Go, 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 go. Good night. Good night. All right. Be safe. Drive safe. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Don't worry. She's in good hands. I'm warning you. I can't dance. <laughs> Whatever. I've seen you dance before. <laughs> so, where are we going to dinner tonight? Hey, is that Sean? What's he doing out there? He's going to freeze to death. Hey, Sean! Hey, Chris. Hey, can we give you a ride? Oh, no, 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 that's cool. Besides, it looks like you're going somewhere anyway. No, it, it, it's not a problem. Come on, get in. Thanks, thanks anyway. But, uh, you guys enjoy yourself at the dance. I think you just made us stay. Uh, it's not a big deal. Just hope it helps. It's just a coat, no big deal. Your generosity reminded Sean that people do care. No, I'm not generous. Don't say that. Do you understand that our actions, good and bad, are the result of how people treat us? You were able to take the lessons that mom and dad taught us and pay it forward. Because you gave Sean that coat, he is able to pay it forward by doing chores for his elderly neighbor. It's cause and effect, Chris. Good equals good, and good can make up for bad. Cause and effect? Grace, I don't think I can take much more of this. One more photo. Last one. Shelter. And then we need to get to the church. Oh, that too. Oh, honey. Chris, why aren't you dressed? I don't feel like it. Well, you'll feel like it when we get to the shelter and fix the tree. Oh, Dad, I'm not going.
Chris, this isn't up for discussion. But Jim, he's been so busy lately. Maybe a little downtime would be good for him. No, what he needs to do is get upstairs, get changed, and help us pack the car. Oh, I'm not done talking. It's not that big of a deal. Christopher. I'm, I'm just tired. Okay, I'll go later. Son, we have an obligation to the community, all right? And someday, that obligation is going to be yours. I just want to stay home. Is, it, is that so bad? Merry Christmas, Mrs. Taylor. <laughs> uh, these are from my parents. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Sam, are you coming with us? Uh, sorry, Grace. I'm going to hang out with Chris tonight. If he's not going, I'm not going. No, 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 no. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta go. We are gonna have fun without you. <laughs> yeah, I got that movie that you want to see. Oh, okay. Chris, <laughs> you can stay home tonight. But remember, the decisions you make can impact the lives around you. Okay. Bye, Mom. Oh, you got more. I don't know what happened. <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry. You're so. You stupid. want that piece? No. You gonna get stop. that piece? No. Okay. Stop. Stop. You stop. stop. Don't make. If you make me spill this popcorn. No, stop. No. Okay. 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 Truce. <laughs> you got a tear going on there. <laughs> I'm watching you. Uh huh. <laughs> Stop wasting all my popcorn. Mr. Taylor? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Come on. service. Chris, you're not alone. I just lost my whole family. Everything. How am I not alone? Trusting God that he's with you. That your mom and dad and Grace will always be on your side. Yeah, where was God the night the drunk driver hit them? Tell me that. There are so many things that we don't understand. You know, everyone says that it's a miracle the other driver survived. If it really was a miracle, my family would still be alive.
I had gone, things things would be so different. That was the worst day of my life. There's nothing you could do about it. It was God's plan. What, to ruin my life? <laughs> what, what loving God would do that, huh? You had so much love and people comforting you that day. But you chose to look at the darkness. Where are the rest of the photos? It didn't turn out so well. Well, we're done here. Just go see Linda. I'm sure she wants to see you. You're asking for it. Relax. They can't see us. So pay attention. And sign here. And... I don't think you've thought this through. Sure I have. I just want what's mine. Chris, you don't know anything about Century Air or how to run the company. Bill has been doing a fantastic well, job. Well, I have time to learn. He's a legal adult, Diane. What about college? Look, Chris. Chris, I just want you to slow down. As your guardian. Diane, please. I don't need your help anymore. When you get home, just leave the keys on the counter. Why would I do that? Because I don't need you anymore. I want you out of my house today. See you in the boardroom. Okay. Good morning. Terry. Pass these down. Thank you. My father built this company from the ground up. I credit the success of this company to his honesty, integrity, and work ethic second to none. When he passed away, it was expected that some adjustments would be made, primarily Bill Watson taking over as CEO and president. However, over the last 18 months, I have had time to think things through, and now that I'm in a position to do so, I'm going to step into my father's shoes and take over what rightfully belongs to me. Chris? My father was a good man. He's one of my best friends, but in terms of running this company, he would want me. Century Air rightfully became mine when I turned 18. Don't act surprised, Bill. It was only a matter of time before I stepped up. Everyone relax. Just everybody calm down. Now, please flip to page two, if you will. It explains everything. Bill will be returning to vice president, and I will take the title of CEO and president. We need to have a chat right now. You just keep reading, thank you. Bill. Listen, Chris, we understand that your dad left the company to you, but you can't just step into something you know nothing about. I will learn. I've been learning all my life. My dad was a great businessman. Yes, and, and we just got the company back on track after his death. You know, if we change things up now, we risk losing clients. Things have changed. I know you're in a lot of pain. So am I. Jim was my best friend. And I was with him step by step as he built this company up. Now, he and I were a team, and I know he wanted you to be part don't of it. Don't tell me about my pain, and don't tell me about being a team player. This is my game, my rules. No one's denying your right to this, okay? Just let me help you transition into the position. Let me mentor you. You can help me by getting back to work.
Terry, I'm gonna need you to pack everything up. No, no. Uh, this stays with me. Christmas is about the gift of love. Here you go. Five minutes away from walking through the door. This was this morning. Why aren't they working? Chris, they're bending over backwards so Sentry Air will look good. They came in two hours early this morning to make sure their work was done. Oh. Well, no one told me that. Knowing you, you'd probably yell at them for coming in early. Okay, so I give them an extended lunch break the day after Christmas. Is that what Dad would have done? That, that, that was different. Everyone respected Dad. He took care of them. It's not me. Not yet. But you always have a choice. Excuse me. Sorry to bother you. Yeah. I just wanted to... What do you need? I just had a quick question. Um, I was wondering if... I Spit it out. Can I get an advance? I really this, need it. This is a job. No freebies. No, I know, but I wouldn't be asking if I didn't need it. And you know I'm good for it. I've been working overtime. I, uh, Jeremy, I can pay Jeremy, you. Jeremy, just stop. I'll do it. Just this once. This is it. Thank you. And uh, have a Merry Christmas. Logan, Jacob, chores before TV. Uh, I'll do them tonight. You're not doing chores on Christmas Eve. It's not like we have anything else going on tonight. You remember Logan and Jacob? Yeah, and Sarah. Why are they still here? Figured that they'd be back in their home by now. Unfortunately, some things never change. Someone's coming. You can't even wait until after the holidays. Merry Christmas. Why did he have to come today for all days? What you doing? Just wondering why some things have to be the way they are. Why? Oh, it's nothing for you to worry about. Hmm. What is that? It's an ornament. Oh, I wish I could dance again. I would love to be in the Nutcracker. The Nutcracker? Yeah, the Nutcracker is a show that's I felt so alive. And then I was in the Nutcracker, and I was a mouse. <laughs> a mouse? Yeah, but you can be anything you want. An angel or a soldier. A clown, and even a mouse. <laughs> I want to dance. Do you really? Can I? Well, yeah, someday I know I'm going to dance again, so maybe you could come with me and we do it together. But Kaylee, I want you to remember something. Why? I want you to follow your dreams, whether it's dancing or anything you want to do. My mom gave this to me. It reminds me of the first time I danced. Promise me you'll take special care of it? I promise. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't get it. They get plenty of donations. What, what, did Kathy and Diane run this place into the ground or what? Mom and Dad were their biggest supporters. Century Air kept this place going. Well, can we have until the end of the month? 
Look, I, I have a house full of kids here. Well, we need to keep the power on. Thank you. Well, we have power and gas till the end of the month. God's providing. Miracles happen, Kathy. We just have to keep the faith. What about Samantha? Did she have any luck with Chris? What do you think? She's just bitter because she had to move out after the accident. Had to? I didn't need her help. I had Linda. It's a big house. She could have stayed. Hey, guys. Merry Christmas. Hey, did you get off work early? No, I'm just on a break. Oh, on the swing by. Hey. Hi. Yeah, I got this for you. Oh, thank you so much. You're so kind. And I wish I had something for you. We can't. Yeah, you have to. It's a gift. No. No, sorry. It's yours. Oh. This, this makes no sense. There was a fund set up for the shelter. They ran out of money. It's not that complicated. For a guy who thinks he knows so much, you really don't know anything. Oh, hey, Sam. Oh, sweetheart, what's up? I wasted my whole day, that's what. I feel like I let everyone down. Oh, don't say that, honey. I thought he would help, but he, he was so awful. He's a completely different person. Who has her so upset? He couldn't have cared less about the kids. He said that Century Air only invests in People just don't care. If they lose the house, those kids can end up on the streets. Sam, God knows how to fight your battles. Let them. Mm -hmm. I know. And I just thought I could make a difference. Mm -hmm. I thought there was still some good in his heart. I didn't know. She tried to tell you. I, I just didn't, I didn't see it from her perspective. I get it. They're going through hard times. So what are you going to do about it? I have no control over the future. I think you need to see the future before you say that. Diane, are you almost finished here? Uh, yes, I just have a few things to finish up. Uh, the floors, the windows. All I know is that this place has to be done by tomorrow. They're going to be laying carpet in the morning. The tenant's going to be here in the afternoon with the office furniture. And when you're done here, apartment 305 on Oak needs to be cleaned. Questions? No. I think I... so. better than this. Times are tough. This is all she could find. Have you heard anything about the kids? Not much. Most of them were placed by the state. Jacob's in foster care. Logan, he's on his own. Any news about Sarah? She's in and out. She just keeps running away. But Jeremy, he's doing great. He's in classes at the community college. He's our one miracle story. Oh, thank God for Jeremy. Yeah. Well, I've got to get back to work, but let's keep in touch. Please let's do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stay positive. Okay. Well, they have such big hearts. This never should have happened. Like Mama always said, our choices will impact the lives of others.
Thanks, Terry. Who hired these people? Pacific West Air. How may I direct your call? Pacific West Air? That's our biggest competitor. What are they doing here? You're not gonna like this. What's this guy doing in my office? It's his office, Count. His office? Are you saying that I sold Century Air to this guy? Dad would never stand for this. I would never stand for this. You'd be surprised what you stand for in the future. Okay, just at least tell me that I made a fortune selling the business. Things change, and people change. I changed. Grace, tell me what? No way. No. Give me a shot. Go for the girl. Keep them coming, all right? Yeah. We didn't get to be a tab, kid. This is a joke, right? You're good for it, Al. I've heard that before. She's gonna stay in here, you're gonna play. I can play all night. I like the sound of that. What happened to me? After firing Bill, the pressures of running the company got the best of you. You cracked. No, I would never let myself become that person. The future is a funny thing. It doesn't always go the way you plan. And, and that that woman? The, the, uh, there's no way I would I I would I would end up with someone. Well, not like her. Someone like Samantha. Guess what I always thought. This isn't Sam's kitchen. Sure it is. Hey, babe. Where have you been all day? Working. And I met up with some of the guys at the bar. It's Christmas. The kids had to open presents without you. That isn't fair to them. Is this her husband? Yeah. She married a total loser. Uh, whatever. At least you're here for family dinner now. Well, yeah. The game's on now. I'll just be in the other room. Why is she with this guy? I never would have treated her like that. She couldn't wait around for you. Besides, you treated her worse when she came looking for a donation. I don't understand. Why would she choose someone like him? God gives us choices. You made yours. She made hers. It's gonna get better, right? so easy on you, you understand? Yes. That's yes sir to you, say it. Yes sir. Learn some respect, boy. Be a man. Pick up this mess. Why, why would he go back to live with his parents if they're so bad to him? That's his foster dad. This was the safest place for him. He's gonna call the police. He's not gonna do anything, hear me? Let's go. We, we gotta get him out of here, both of them. 
All we can do is watch. I told you to stay away from here. You're like a big man. You want him, take him. You just want him for the money. Oh, he's barely worth it. That's why no one else will take him. You're not gonna do anything. Just try me. Come on, we're leaving. Go ahead and take him. You think anyone cares? You ain't worth it. He's gonna be okay, right? You can live with Logan? Logan's been living on the street for a while. He'll show Jacob the ropes. They're just kids. It isn't fair. Life isn't fair. You said so yourself. Is that Sarah? Thank you, Sarah. I'll put this on our Christmas tree. I want you to follow your dreams, whether it's dancing or anything you want to do. <laughs> Gotta play the cards you're dealt, right? <laughs> no, 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 Sarah. This is not happening. I gotta, I gotta do something. What are you gonna do? You're at the bar getting drunk with one of your girlfriends. Why are you showing me all this? You drag me through my darkest moments. You show me what, what people really think about me. Just go away. I never wanted any of this. I also showed you love and hope. And maybe you didn't want this, but you do need this. Just leave me alone. Good! Finally! I don't need you! I don't need anyone! Hey! Hey! future ahead of them. They can only find someone who believes in them. That ornament was all she could give, and you took it. So why shouldn't you give all you possibly can? I know you're in a lot of pain. So am I. She was my best friend. The decisions you make can impact the lives around you. Remember that story I told you about how God gave his only son Jesus as a gift to the world? Christmas is about the gift of love. God never abandoned you. Not then. Not now. Not ever. Where is God now? 
where was he with Jeremy? Sarah, where, where was he the night that you and mom and dad? Always look for the good. Even our darkest times offer redemption. Even for you. <sighs> Through forgiveness and love. That's what Jesus taught us, Chris. You've always known that. I guess somewhere, somewhere along the way, I just, I just gave up. Always look for the good. It's there. You better wake up. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> I don't know about that. No, I, I have something that I need to say. I'm sure that whatever this is about can wait. No, it can't. It can't. <sighs> Diane, I'm sorry for everything. You were right. I was just a kid. I should never have been so awful to you. You were my mom's best friend. The closest thing I have left to her. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> no. I mean, yes, yes, I just, I, I want, I want you to move back into the house. Oh, but I've got a house. <laughs> I know. Here, take this. You are always welcome in the Taylor home. Your family. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for always being there. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Chris. I, uh, you know, when I invited you over for Christmas, it was before you fired me. Oh, that, right, yeah. right. Look, I'm sorry that I didn't call, but I need your help. No, I, I gave out my reports to Tony. I'm sure he can answer any questions. No, 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 it's about the Trinity Group. I'm afraid that we're gonna lose a deal. Chris, I'm sorry, but you should have thought things through. That's the problem. I didn't, I never thought anything through. 
Bill, you got your job back. I, it was never my place to take it away from you, especially not on Christmas Eve. Well, I appreciate the offer, Chris, but uh, after you let me go, I called Pacific West. They've been after me for years. No, 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 no you can't. Not them. I have a meeting next week. No, Bill, I, I will pay you whatever they're paying you. Double. You should be the CEO of this company, Bill. Not me. You're the backbone of this company. I'm just the legal name that owns it. Bill, I'm, I'm begging you. Chris. All right, I'll, I'll give Trinity a call tomorrow. In the, in the meantime, you did say today was a day off, though, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you. If I could wrap up your job and stick it under a tree, I would. I gotta go get a tree. Now there's a Christmas miracle. This is the worst Christmas ever. Logan, how can you say that? We have a roof over our head, food to eat, great friends. I just, I miss the way it used to be. I know. We have a lot of good memories, but you know what? We have a lot more ahead of us. Lord, thank you for keeping us safe on this day as we celebrate the birth of your son. Mostly, thank you for the gift of love patience, understanding. It sounds like Jingle Bells. What on earth? Chris, what are you doing here? I got the biggest one I could find. I mean, almost everything was gone, but I did the best I could do. What is going on? Oh, Samantha came by the office yesterday and I uh, was so busy that... Uh, she said you needed a tree, <laughs> and I would have come by last night, but it's a long story. Oh, well, do you want to come in? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> hey, guys. <sighs> Look, Kathy, I, uh, I know I've been pretty bad about uh, keeping in touch and, and helping out, but I just want to make sure that you guys have everything that you need, okay? All of you. We're not gonna lose the house! I just wanna make sure that you guys get whatever you want, whatever you guys need. Can we get a puppy? You want a puppy? I want video games. Video games? Sure. I have a dollhouse. You want, we'll get you a big dollhouse. <laughs> you want dance lessons? You're still dancing? Okay, great. Yeah, of course. Love, what are you still playing baseball? I'm gonna take you to a game. What has gotten into you? <laughs> the Christmas spirit, I guess. <laughs> you guys, you guys want to decorate this tree? Yeah. <laughs> you want to do the star on the top? Okay. This one is from Grandma Tipton. Aw, oh, thank you. Okay, let me guess. Scarf and hat. <laughs> Ready? It's Christmas morning. Uh, it's a shelter. Hello? Sam, get, get here as soon as you can. Wait, C Kathy, calm down. What? What? Chris showed up. I, I can't explain. Kathy, hurry. I'm on my way. Oh, I can't believe him. Honey, what's wrong? Chris is at the shelter. He's, he's going to ruin their Christmas. You want us to go with you? No, it's fine. Why would he do this? Sam, be careful. I'm gonna call Jeremy. Sam, just keep cool. Let's figure out what's going on here first, okay? Christopher Michael Taylor, what are you? See, told you. <sighs> <sighs> So good to see you guys. Jeremy, okay, this, this weekend we're gonna hang out, all right? Just okay. like we used to. Whatever you say. <sighs> Sam, I am sorry. 
I was so awful to you. I'm sorry I let you down yesterday and, and all the times before. I, I just want things to, to be like, like they used to be, like they should be. Of course. <laughs> Why now? Yesterday you were so angry. I know. I, w I was so, I was, I was so angry at everyone, but especially myself. You've always been there for me. Even when I pushed you away. And I would, I would never miss an opportunity to, to open presents or, or watch a game on TV instead of having dinner with you. <laughs> Chris, I think you've lost it. No. No, I found it. Life is, is worth living and I can't spend the rest of it angry. I want to believe my prayers have been answered. Believe it. Excuse me, mister. Hi. Isn't it beautiful? Christmas is my favorite time of year. I wish my big brother Chris felt that way.